Okay, so we're going to look at the properties of logarithms and the laws of logarithms, and they, from our formula booklet, we can see this from the formula booklet. And so I know when I multiply the argument of logarithms, and it means I add two separate logarithms, dividing and subtract them. The m can go to the front, the exponent go to the front, for any a, x, or y bigger than zero. So I want these things to be positive values. And I want to show that this is a true statement. So whenever I have to show that, I have to pretend I don't know that this is there. Um, I do know that it's there, and so I can use it as, 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 as a target, but I have to pretend I don't. So I'm going to start with a natural log logarithm of e squared over 8. Well, that I know, if I use the properties of subtraction, I know that this is ln e squared minus ln 8. Well, I know that the natural logarithm e are inverses of each other, so they cancel each other out, and so that just becomes 2 minus ln 8. This is my target. I somehow have to relate the 3 and the 2. And what I recognize is that ln 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. Using the, exp the properties, I can pull the 3 down to up front, and so now I can show that these two are the same things. So this kind of question is just to get us used to using the properties and manipulating. Let's try some more. So write as a single logarithm. Well, if I'm going to apply logarithms, I'm just practicing properties. This goes up front, so it's ln x to the power of 4. Here I have a single logarithm. The 2 can go up to the exponent, ln x squared plus ln y. And then if I add these two together, it means I'm going to actually multiply the two inside. This one here, because this is not yet a logarithm, I have to convert it into a logarithm. And I know that log 10, because this is base 10 to 1, this here is equal to 1. And so we don't usually write this, but that's what's going on. So I can say this is log 10 plus log x. Well, m adding means multiplication inside, so it's 10x. So this is my single logarithm. Recognizing that 1 is equal to log 10. And finally, I'm going to put this together um, when I have log a minus means divide plus log c. Add means multiply, so it's going to be log ac over b. And there we have it.